Sylvia. And I'm Jordan. You can run into a lot of upfront costs when you buy or rent your home. And sometimes when it comes to actually furnishing it, there's no money left. This happened to us a few years ago and we took matters into our own hands, literally. Two years ago, I couldn't even use a drill and now we've built almost every piece of furniture in our house. They're some of our favorite pieces and they cost a fraction of the price of what they would be to buy. We love building things so much that we've actually branched out to start making things for our friends. When our friend Jenny showed us this table she loved on Wayfair for $1,300, we thought, couldn't we do this for way less money? You know I'm a sucker for a budget-friendly challenge, so let's give it a shot. When it comes to building furniture, there are cost savings to be had every step of the way. Here are some simple tips you can build on. I'm talking plans and planning. Planning your project ahead of time will save you a lot of time and money. He's not kidding. The first time I built a table, I ended up back at the hardware store 20 times to recut wood and buy supplies I didn't have because I didn't study my plans enough. Speaking of plans, there are so many free plans available online. One of our personal favorites is Shanty to Sheep. These two sisters are DIY masters and share their projects and downloadable plans. Their instructions are actually super easy to follow if you actually read them. So this is the same table, but we're gonna do a different tabletop on the front, but the same base is gonna be used for this. And then we're going to use the same pocket holes to attach these boards together in the exact same way. So not much is gonna to have to change in terms of assembly, but we'll just have to make sure all our measurements are right. So how do we adjust this thing to accommodate the fact that there's not a breadboard? How far do we want this from the edge? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. When you're buying wood that you'll stain or paint, you can get away with using construction lumber. With wood prices being really high these days, this is still a really affordable way to get the wood that you need for your project. Before you go buy your wood, do a quick search for an affordable building center in your area. You'll often see deep discounts there on everything you'll need to get your build started. And now it's time to go buy the wood. I always love this part. Um, I usually get a lot of it wrong, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. But buying wood means it's almost time to get started, so I'm going to go and get our supplies have all the wood. It's a lot of wood. I have to go get a flag now, I guess, because I have a wide load. So uh, yeah, adventures in wood shopping. We got all this lumber for under $100. If you're not into the idea of using a saw just yet, don't worry. Most building supply stores will actually make straight cuts for you for free. You just have to ask. And having those cuts made in advance makes it a little easier to carry home and then work with if you're working in a small space. Tool libraries are more popular than you'd think and a great way to borrow tools for next to nothing. An annual membership is usually less than $49 a year and you can rent tools for construction, yard work, or even special events. The last resort are tool rentals. Most major building stores will have a tool rental section. It's going to be more expensive than a tool library, but still way less money than buying the tools full price. We've got our lumber, we've got our tools, we've got our well laid out plans. Let's get building. Let's do it. Oh, I see how that works. Okay. <laughs> so if I'm drilling in this way, yeah. how do I know that I'm lining it up properly? Oh, because I look in here. Now that we've got this table assembled, it's time to bring it to life. Using stain and paint is a great way to transform your construction lumber into a work of art. When you're buying stain, buy the smaller cans rather than the large one. You never use as much as you think, and you can return unopened cans if you don't end up using it. For this project, we're going to stain the top of the table and paint the legs. You don't need high-end paint for this, just choose a color that you like. But before you buy paint, ask if they have any mist tints. Mist tints can be sold at a deeply discounted price or sometimes even given away for free. Just because it wasn't perfect for someone else doesn't mean it's not perfect for you and your wallet.
Here we go. It's the last All one. All right. I'm so excited. Let's see what this looks okay. like. Okay. Pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I love it. Okay. The paint has dried. The table is assembled. Aren't you curious to know how much this project actually cost? I mean, let's knock on wood that it comes under the $1,300 version that Jenny showed us online. $1,300? more like 130. This table and bench set was one tenth of the cost of the one that Jenny found online. We made it ourselves, it didn't take that long, and it's really cute. Not bad for a couple rookies, eh? Your Two Cents is made possible by Credit Unions of Atlantic Canada and produced by Canadian Content Studios.